Welcome to Tech Corner YouTube channel. This is an online platform, tutorial platform. Now, in this video, I'm going to do a question on how to construct the true shape of a triangle or a lamina. So, I have a question here. This is a neck technical drawing examination question for module 1. A diploma in mechanical engineering. I'm going to use a auxiliary line method. Remember, we have even uh, you can find the true shape of a lamina using triangulation method. But for me, uh, in this video, I'm going to do the auxiliary line method or auxiliary view method. The first thing, copy the question the way it is. Copy it properly, make use of uh, the line work, the pencils. Now, I have the question here copied. So, what you do in each of these lines or sides, side A, B, and then we have this side here which is not named, so that one you can assume is side C. So, draw a perpendicular, a parallel line to line A, B. Draw a parallel line to line AB. And also extend it to make it a little bit longer. Now, the line we've drawn, now that's our baseline, so we can call it our new x, y, so we call it the x1, y1, this x1, and this side we call it y1. From each of these two points, A and B, draw a perpendicular line from point A to the line that we just constructed perpendicular 90 degrees so we can even measure and see if these two lines are 90 degrees so you can see they are 90 degrees So you can lengthen that line, draw it a little bit longer. So the same, draw a line from point A at 90 degrees. So that line is at 90 degrees and also draw it a little bit longer. So once you finish, now, from our initial baseline, our reference line, that's x, y, point A on the plan, on the plan side is 50 units. So, we are going to draw a line from our x, 1, point A, 50 units along that line. So, we want to mark. Fifty units so my fifty units is there so I can I do a small mark so it seems not to show up let me repeat again So that's my 15 and from point from our x 
y line to point b prime on the plan is 37 units so also draw 37 units from this point you mark mark an arc 37 units seven units so do an arc at that point if something seems to to be a mess here but now join these two points this point I used my lines to show them so join these two points using the outline so that's the true shape of line a b so you can name it a1 b1 So you do the same on this side B, C, draw a parallel line to B, C to make it a to make the new reference our new X, Y. So from point B, draw 90 degrees to this new reference line. So this line, first you can call it, this is uh, Y2. And this one we call it X2. So draw a, draw a line from B, 90 degrees to our x2 and also make, make it a little bit longer so the same from this draw a line 90 degrees and also try to stretch to lengthen it So as we did on this side, uh, this point, this point is 10 units on the plant below the x, y. So you measure 10, 10 units from our new x2, y2 line. So measure 10 units and mark an arc there. So from here, measure 10, so my 10 is there, so let me do that mark. And then for B, B is T37 units, so from our new XY line, draw a uh, 37 mark so that 7 okay, seems to be there so join these two points with an outline join this point to this point here
so this is now the true shape of this line bc so we can call this point b so we had b1 so this is now b2 so this one it didn't have any number uh, letter there so we can even call it c2 finally on the other line two repeat the same procedure So from point A, so this line we've drawn first, call it our X3 and Y3. Y3. So from our A, draw a perpendicular line to X3. and make it a little longer also from that side draw 90 degrees line to our x3 y3 and extend it so from the our x y the initial x y point a on the plan is 50 units so from our x3 y3 draw mark at point 50 from the new drawn line Sorry, let me repeat that. So mark 50 units. So 50 units seems to be somewhere here. Now, on this one, this point, the one we gave called C, it is 10 units from x y so we measure 10 units from our x3 y3 measure 10 units ten units so 10 units seems to be there now join these two points using the outline so join this point and this point So call this line, this is now our A2, this line is A2, and this is now our C, C3. So we had, so we have A, A1, and A2, B, B1, and B2, C, C1, so let's call this C1. And this one now we call it C2. Now, those three sides are now the true sides of our triangle. Now, if you want now to construct the true. Uh, shape of this lamina basically what we do we take this line we can measure that line and bring it to point b bring this line to point b so we can measure the line and mark an arc there point so let's see the measurement for this 
so this line measures 59 it's measuring 59 units so and also let's measure the other one So the other one is measuring 93 and this is 59. So you take your compass, put it on point B, draw an arc. Draw an arc. So the line was measuring 59 so we mark 59 there the other side the line was measuring 93 So draw the arc. So where these two points meet or intersect, that's our point C. So now join the point C. So join this point to this one here. And join that this point so this point here we can call it point c1 so with that you will have answered the question which was you determine uh, construct the true shape of a triangle we've done that and set the size of its side so the sizes are here one is 93 that's line uh, A2, C2, and uh, C1, B2 is 59, and that is the shape of our triangle. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video, and kindly subscribe.